What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. On the Legion Go here, we're taking a look at Monster Hunter World, and I did this on Steam Deck recently as well, because this game's had quite a resurgence the past couple weeks around the holidays, and I found myself jumping into it as well. Now, I played through this game on Xbox, but I found out I didn't have it on PC, so I've had to start a new uh, playthrough this past couple of weeks and just kind of jump into it, so it's really a lot of the beginning of the game, but let's go ahead and get into it here and take a closer look. So, as far as the settings here on our actual go, we'll be using the performance mode, which is the red red ring or whatever, the 20 watt mode uh, for the go. And then uh, 1200p will be my focus here. And I won't cap the frame rate or use VSync uh, in game. I'm also using four gigabytes of VRAM uh, in the BIOS here as well. So 2560, 1600 is our output, but we're 1200p in game. This game doesn't support 1610. There are ways around that, but for this video, I didn't worry about it. I'm not using any upscaling or anything here either. Frame rate set to 144 with VSync turned off. Now, as far as the settings we're going to use in the game, we're going to use low for one and mid for another at 1200p. We'll also take a quick look at 800p later as well. But in advanced graphics here, we're going to set this to low. We're going to go into advanced. And the only thing I'll change here is I'm going to up the texture quality just a little bit. I'm going to turn anti-aliasing on TAA and i'm going to turn off motion blur depth of field and the vignetting and then i'll leave everything else alone that's what we're going to refer to when we're talking about our low settings uh in the game throughout the video and then when we switch over to mid uh pretty simply i'm just going to go ahead and put the mid preset and then change a couple things that you can see here on screen volumetric render quality i should have actually changed that as well to mid i had forgot to change that over that can be helpful uh, as well there but anyways getting into it here on low 1200p with the settings that you saw there in our uh, main hub area and really uh, all over the place when uh, just kind of running around the beginning areas uh, playing performance is really good we're not necessarily completely taxing the uh, GPU this way um, and we're just kind of hitting a cap here as far as our frame rate I do have DX12 running I've been bouncing back and forth between that being on and off and uh, performance is very similar to, to being off uh, sometimes you might get a little bit more frame rate or better frame times when you don't have the X12 on, but I really didn't have much uh, difference here for Monster Hunter World, so I did leave that on here. Now again, I'm still kind of in the beginning of the game, and I'm sure there's other areas when you get deeper into it. I remember, you know, harder fights and traps and bombs and different environmental areas. Sure, our uh, FPS could go down some. Uh, or tax the GPU more down the road, but there's enough headroom here to keep the game plenty playable on the Legion Go or even if you're over on the ROG Ally. I really enjoyed running around, uh, spending some time here on the go, being able to play this game locally um, rather than necessarily relying on streaming with something like GeForce Now because yeah, the game is about five years old and honestly it's fairly easy to run uh, these days and it's actually lending itself quite well to these handhelds between the Steam Deck and the uh, the Legion Go here in the Ally. This game's uh, running great. So for people jumping in, if you're uh, playing on your handheld, uh, this is actually a great title to uh, have with you and uh, to be playing through. Now I want to switch over here to the mid or our medium settings that we looked at, uh, staying at 1200p here. And of course you're going to see we're using more uh, of that GPU. Our percentage is higher. We're hitting more of a cap there uh, for our resources and we're going to be lower on our FPS. The game's going to look a bit better um, than it did on low, of course, but it just depends on what you're trying to get out of the system at 20 watts. But going uh, up to 25, 30 watts didn't net me enough performance gains to be really worth the battery loss here. This game just kind of was only get getting about three more FPS when I would boost that up. So that's pretty much why I just stuck with my standard 20 watts, which seems to be a sweet spot here along with the uh, 1200p. But getting around this beginning environment, uh, getting into some battles and stuff like that, it still feels good even on mid here running this way. I uh, really didn't have any problems with it, so it just depends on what you're looking to get out of the game between 40 and 60 and 80, uh, 90 FPS um, for Monster Hunter World here. Now, in this same area, I was getting, what, like 80, 88 FPS maybe, 78 FPS here on low. Uh, with the mid settings, we're dropping 20 to 30 FPS less in this area, so it's just kind of a consistent spot here. Uh, to be able to see the difference between those two so again just kind of depending on what you're going for but frame times stay really good and the game feels great to play either way 
Now just real quick, I did go ahead and change the game over to 800p, keeping those mid settings. And of course, that's gonna bring the GPU usage down just a little bit, we're still at that 20 watts, frame times are good, and this really takes us back up to the FPS we were getting at low and 1200p. So if you wanna run a game at a little bit higher settings with the mid, um, and you wanna to, want to keep the frame rate up, maybe go ahead and do 800p. It actually looks pretty good on the Go screen. It's not great blowing up here on screen with a cap card uh, while I'm editing. Of course, it's not quite as sharp as 1200, but um, ultimately it does work really well and uh, can get you that FPS and a little bit higher graphic settings if that's what you wanna go here, uh, go for here with Monster Hunter World on the Legion Go. So I did wanna show just a little bit of 800p there so that you could see. But yeah, I'm really happy I decided to cover Monster Hunter World uh, really for the first time here, I think, on uh, the channel, especially on the handhelds and finding out I didn't have it on PC, so I grabbed it on sale with the Steam Winter Sale. Uh, again, I've played through this on Xbox, but apparently never got into it on PC, so it's fun to jump uh, back into this game and be pay playing through it again. But not only that, now five years later from when I played it before, uh, I can take it with me on the handhelds, which is really cool. So what a great title uh, to have on the go. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.